your heart. It is central to your health and quality living, but with so many tasty options out there like the good old fries and donuts, we don't always make diet choices that do our hearts good. Well, starting today, we can all do better because February marks Heart Healthy Month, and in honor of that, we're exploring some delicious recipes that'll let you eat your heart out the healthy way. With me again is part of our My Cuisine series, Mary Mooney of Mooney Farms. Now, last time, Mary showed us some great tips and recipes featuring sun-dried tomatoes, and of course, they were great heart-healthy ideas. Well, this time, Mary is back, and today she's going to help our viewers with some recipes they've submitted. Morning to you, Mary. Good morning. Thanks for being on the show with us oh, this morning. Oh, it's my pleasure. Now, this time, it's all about the viewers. We'll get to that in just a moment, but you know, you're all about sun-dried tomatoes right. and, and, and the heart-healthy <laughs> benefits. Uh, why is a diet rich in sun-dried tomatoes such a great diet to have? Well, first of all, if, if you think about Heart Healthy Month, it's amazing to know that the leading cause of death in America is heart disease. Wow. Yeah. I bet and a lot of people didn't know no, that. And, and the thing is, if you can eat healthier foods, one of them being a, a tomato-rich diet because it's loaded with lycopene. Lycopene is a powerful antioxidant, and that's been shown to help in cardiovascular disease and many other diseases. So that's why we try to put sun-dried tomatoes in, in all of these recipes. Well, it's interesting because these are recipes, as we said, that our viewers submitted because they've got a few issues in terms yeah. of making their dishes heart healthy. And we want to talk about this first recipe. It's a meatloaf recipe, and it was submitted by one of our viewers, Jill McIntosh. Now, she needs help with a heart-healthy meatloaf recipe because she's saying that her meatloaf really isn't all that with the family. They're like, Mom, what have you done for me lately? Give me something new. So what did you come up with to help Jill out this morning? You know what? We just made a few changes. Okay. And we put in some of the whole grains and healthier items. So what we did is we just got rid of the ground beef, and we went with ground turkey, much lighter, mm -hmm. sun-dried tomatoes for flavor and lycopene. Uh, we put in oatmeal, heart smart food instead, instead of, of the, the bread crumbs. Exactly, yeah. and it's very, it, it's dense and it has great texture. And then feta cheese, great flavor. Wonderful, yeah. delicious, wonderful, healthy, wonderful. healthy meal. All right, listen, I want to taste this. All right, I'm not going to let you. About, yeah, but I'm not going to let you taste it without the pesto. Oh, without on the pesto. Top. I'm like, yeah, I thought no. you're like, you're not, you can't no. taste it. You're like, I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, because this okay. is how oh, I serve. Oh, you put pesto on top this of it. This is how I serve it okay. at home, and the kids love it. Oh wow. Yeah, a lot of flavor. You can even put it on top. Um, the last couple minutes of cooking mm -hmm. and it'll caramelize. Or you can mm. just serve it as oh, a condiment, right? Instead of ketchup, no sugar, healthier choice. Love it. Speaking of healthier choices, something that's not always the healthiest thing is pizza. Yeah. My kids love it. I know a lot of our viewers out there, their kids love pizza. We give it to them when we're the last resort. Okay, you'll eat this. Well, Amanda Gonzalez is no exception. She's looking for a healthy twist on pizza that her kids are going to love. Right. So the first thing you have to do is you don't talk about it. You just take away the refined starch. Don't even tell them. No. So just give them the whole wheat crust. When you load it up like this, they'll never know the difference. And then take away the salami and the pepperoni. Mm. But you give them Italian ground mm. turkey sausage. So you get the great flavor. Flavor, loaded up with their favorite veggies. Um, of course, I always put lycopene rich, sun dried yeah. tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And I actually use the sun dried tomato pesto as a base. Nice. But if that's not a kid pleaser at home, you can go with uh, our typical pizza sauce. Still a tomato based product, still lycopene rich. Nice, yep. nice, nice. Now that's great because pizza's always a winner. But you know, our next viewer, he has kind of a unique challenge. His name is Jonathan Packer, and he's a single parent. And so what happens is he does all the cooking for his family. What he needs is a simple, quick, healthy meal idea. What do we have for Jonathan to help him out? Well, for Jonathan, first of all, the meatloaf is quick and easy. In 15 minutes, it's assembled, it's in the oven, it's done. So what I would do is go ahead and make a superfood salad. Oh. And garbanzo beans, oh, one I of my love. very favorite yeah. superfoods, mm -hmm. high in fiber and um, very complex carb. And you can add that to all your favorite veggies on iron-rich spinach, lycopene-rich sun-dried tomatoes, crunchy vegetables. You can do some feta cheese. And, of course, cover it in extra virgin olive oil. you got to get the olive oil in every day. Again, the heart healthy. Yeah. All right, yep. so now we talk a lot about sun-dried tomatoes. That is your business. You yep. know it better than anybody else. What should we look for when we're looking for a sun-dried tomato? Because I notice with this, this has olive oil, but I also notice a lot of sun-dried tomatoes don't. Right. Uh, it's less expensive to use canola ah. and soybean. We stay with the traditional recipe. 200 years old from great 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 grandmother. Mm -hmm. So olive oil. That's the key ingredient. That's the key to look you for. Get your health benefits. Sun dried tomatoes with yeah. olive oils. Well, Mary Mooney, thanks so much for being with us again on the show this morning. It is my pleasure. Always a pleasure to see you. And for more of these amazing recipes and information about sun dried tomatoes, simply check out Mary's website. It's MooneyFarms.com.